The Albion class landing platform dock is a class of amphibious assault ship in service with the Royal Navy. The class consists of two vessels, HMS Albion and HMS Bulwark, ordered in 1996 to replace the aging Felis class. Both ships were built by BAE Systems Marine at the former Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering Yard in Barrow in Furness. Albion was commissioned in 2003 and Bulwark in 2004. Each of the ships has a crew of 325 and can accommodate up to 405 troops. 31 large trucks and 36 smaller vehicles and main battle tanks can be carried inside the vehicle deck. To disembark troops and vehicles, the vessels are equipped with eight landing craft. Topic: <laughs> Development. The value of the two Felis class landing platform docks was highlighted during the Falklands War. Not only did the ships transport troops and vehicles to the South Atlantic, the commanders of the landing operations at San Carlos were aboard HMS Felis, and once they arrived their flight decks were used to support airborne operations by helicopters and Sea Harrier jets, as these ships were built in the 1960s. On 18 July 1996 the British Ministry of Defence awarded a £450 million contract for their replacements to Vickers ship Building and Engineering Limited (VSEL) in Barrow in Furness, the ship's roles are to act as the afloat command platform for the Royal Navy's amphibious task force and landing force commanders when embarked, and to embark, transport, deploy, and recover troops with their equipment and vehicles which form part of an amphibious assault force. They are larger and more capable than the Felis class, and formed part of a modernisation programme of the British amphibious fleet, which includes the helicopter carrier HMS Ocean, the Bay-class landing ships of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary and the Point-class Sealift ships. <laughs> <laughs> Extended readiness To cut the running costs of the Royal Navy, the 2010 Strategic Defence and Security Review concluded that one of its two Albion-class LPDs should be placed into extended readiness, or docked, while the other is held at high readiness for operations. The vessels will alternate between extended readiness and high readiness throughout their service lives. It was confirmed that Albion would be the first of the two vessels to be placed at extended readiness, for a cost of £2.5 million, as Bulwark had recently finished a major refit. Running costs while in extended readiness are estimated to be £300,000 per annum to keep the vessel available for reactivation at short notice. HMS Albion will re-enter high readiness when HMS Bulwark is put into extended readiness, expected around 2016. In 2014 Albion will enter a regeneration refit and will rejoin the active fleet in 2016. The running costs of one of the Albion class vessels at high readiness ranged from £17.7 .7 million to £38.6 million per annum from 2007 to 2011. As of late 2018 Albion was in active service while Bulwark was held at extended readiness. Characteristics <laughs> 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 The Albion class LPDs have a length of 176 meters, 577 feet, a breadth of 28.9 meters, 95 feet, and a draft of 7.1 meters, 23 feet. They have a normal displacement of 14,000 tons, 14,000 long tons, 15,000 short tons, 19,560 tons, 19,250 long tons, 21,560 short tons at full load and 21,000 tons, 21,000 long tons, 23,000 short tons when the dock is flooded. 
The ships have a crew of 325 and can accommodate up to 405 troops, including their vehicles and combat supplies, in overload conditions. Propulsion is provided by two Wartzilla Vasa 16 volts 32E diesel generators driving two electric motors, two shafts, and a bow thruster. The first diesel-electric propulsion system to be used in a Royal Navy surface ship was in the 1960s built Heckler-class ocean survey ships. This is the first in a major surface combatant vessel. It reduces the engine room crew by about 66% compared with the preceding Fearless class of ships. The diesel electric system can propel the ships to a maximum speed of 18 knots and have a range of 8,000 miles .The aft flight deck has two landing spots for aircraft the size of a Chinook, although it has no hangar or aircraft storage facility. Below the flight deck is the dock and vehicle deck. The latter has the capacity to hold 31 large trucks and 36 smaller vehicles or 6 Challenger 2 tanks and 30 armored personnel carriers. The dock can hold 4 landing craft utility MK-10, each large enough to carry vehicles up to main battle tank size, which are then launched by flooding of the dock area. Four smaller LCVP MK5 that can carry 35 men or two light trucks are carried on davits, two each side of the ship's superstructure. Each ship also carries a 52-ton tracked beach recovery vehicle for assisting with landing craft recovery, as well as two tractors, one that can lay a trackway across a landing beach, and the second fitted with an excavating bucket and forks. Topic. Weapons and sensors For defense against missile attack, the Albion-class LPDs were fitted with two 30mm goalkeeper CIWSs mounted fore and aft on the superstructure and two 20mm guns. Defensive countermeasures include the outfit DLJ decoys, eight Signat radar reflection, infrared emitting decoy launchers and a BAE Systems DLH off-board decoy. In 2017, Albion had her goalkeeper mounts removed and replaced by a pair of 20mm phalanx mounts as part of her refit prior to returning to active service. Bulwark will have her goalkeeper mounts removed upon her entry into extended readiness. When commissioned, the ships were fitted with two Kelvin Hughes Type 1007 8 I band radars, for navigation and aircraft control. For air and surface search, a Celex Sensors and Airborne Systems Radar Type 996E, F band radar was fitted. From 2013 on, RT-996 will be gradually replaced by the BAE Systems Maritime Services Artisan 3DE, F-Band designated RT-997. HMS Iron Duke was the first Royal Navy ship so fitted, RT-997 will be fitted to Albion and Bulwark by 2015. There is also an ADAWS 2000 combat data system and a UAT, 1-4 electronic support measures ESM system. <laughs> <laughs> Ships of the class <laughs> HMS Albion HMS Albion was launched at Barrow in Furness on 9 March 2001. After completing sea trials, Albion was commissioned in June 2003 and became fully operational in April 2004. Her home port is HMNB Devonport on the south coast of England. In December 2010, it was announced that Albion would be the next Royal Navy flagship after HMS Ark Royal. She was deployed with the Response Force Task Group to the Gulf of Sidra off Libya to assist the ongoing NATO-led operation, and then moved into the Indian Ocean in June 2011 to assist with anti-piracy operations off the Horn of Africa. In 2011 she entered a state of "...extended readiness." In July 2017, she re-entered active service after a long refit.
Topic HMS Bulwark. HMS Bulwark, the second in the class, was launched at Barrow in Furness in November 2001, and was commissioned in December 2004. One of the Bulwark's first missions was Operation Highbrow in the Mediterranean in July 2006. Docking in Beirut, the ship evacuated around 1,300 United Kingdom nationals. In May 2010, she entered dry dock at HMNB Devonport for a £30 million refit. In October 2011, Bulwark, having just completed an eight-month refit, became the flagship of the fleet. The refit improved her machinery and magazines, converted her to full night vision tactical ability for landing craft and aircraft, and gave her the ability to operate two Chinook helicopters from the flight deck at the same time. See also Amphibious warfare ship List of active Royal Marines military watercraft